Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we turn to talking about one of the biggest and most influential Marvel movies of all time. I'm of course talking about Black Panther. Black Panther has been a big topic on the internet, especially on channels like this and on places on YouTube and Twitter. Black Panther was of course not only a big hit movie, but it was a cultural phenomenon as well. If you guys don't remember, back in early 2018, the movie came out and it was dubbed the first black superhero movie, even though it really wasn't. I mean, there was a couple other ones before, certainly. There was Blade, and Blade had a whole trilogy that was also a Marvel character. There was also the Steel movie starring Shaquille O'Neal as a sort of metal robot version of Superman and multiple other examples. But regardless, Marvel tried to revamp this idea, and they did it at the perfect time, too. As most of you know, pro-black culture is on the rise out there, specifically surrounding movements like BLM, which just this year got a lot more momentum, mostly because they're preparing for the election in November and they're trying to cause riots and chaos to intimidate people through violence, basically acting like terrorists. But that's besides the point. Today, we're talking about Black Panther, how it's related to culture, and how we have a very bad story about this character and this movie franchise. You see, the actor who plays Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman, recently passed away. Yes, it's very tragic. He died from cancer after apparently battling it for four years, and I don't think many people really knew about it. He was a very, very private person about this up until his death, and now it's been revealed that he passed away. Rest in peace, of course. This has nothing really to do with Chadwick his movie and his family, like we can let that be, we can let that slide. And the real story and the real issue today is people exploiting Black Panther's death. That's right. Over the weekend and ever since the news came out, people have been trying to use Bozeman's death and the Black Panther meme to get themselves attention. They act like they're mourning his loss, but they're really having ulterior motives, as we're about to see. We're going to talk about some examples of that soon. We're going to go over details and read the articles and all that real quick. But first, let's take a moment to check out our sponsor. The Consumer Credit Reporting Agency, Experian, has just experienced a recent data breach that revealed the information of 24 million individuals and 800,000 businesses, exposing them to future phishing attempts. This should be a highlight to us all on how important it is to take our online identity seriously. And the best way to do that is through the use of a good VPN, like the one I'm going to offer you today from Virtual Shield. Virtual Shield makes the only virtual private network that I know and trust, and I keep it on my computers and smart devices pretty much 24-7, always while I'm browsing online. Virtual Shield has a strict no log policy, plus it was built from the ground up specifically for privacy protection and not to make a profit off your data. Virtual Shield believes you have a right to remain private, as do we here at No BS. And now, a special offer due to the recent pandemic, Virtual Shield is offering its services 50% off to help customers in need to protect themselves. So go to my custom link, which is below this video, or you could type in virtualshield.com slash no BS. Thanks for your time today. Make sure you check out those links. And for now, let's get back to the show. Great. Now that that's out of the way, let's get back to Black Panther. Recently, we have a new figure who's re-emerged, none other than Sean King. As you can see by this article, it says, activist Sean King accused of profiting off of Chadwick Boseman's death. Yeah, that's pretty much the lowest thing you could do. You could not do this. This is like obviously in poor taste. It's very disrespectful. And it's also not surprising coming from Sean King. We've known about him for a while. We've done numerous videos on this figure over the years. Basically, to sub things up, Sean King is a fake black person. He pretends to be black when he's really not. He has white parents. He looks white, but he pretends to be black anyway, and he tries to get in on woke culture, and he tries to get in on this stuff by pretending to be some sort of news reporter or activist who really just race baits everything and treats white people like crap and praises black people every chance he can get. He also lies and manipulates information. He constantly raises money too. He's been accused of this before, accused of profiting off of bad things before, like race baiting, deaths, uh, tragedies, and stuff like that. Like This guy is just a classic fraudster. He's like a joke. He's like a con man, essentially. And he's using the internet and he's using Twitter and all these platforms to get himself money to whatever, you know, to get himself richer or whatever it may be. So 
Let's see how that has to do with Black Panther by reading more into this story. Activist Sean King is under fire on Twitter after screenshots of his latest email went viral. The email mentioned the passing of Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman before promoting King's book. King's name was the number two trending topic on the social media platform Saturday, with more than 23,000 tweets about him after Twitter account at Very White Guy surfaced screenshots of King's email. Now, here's the tweet and the copies of the email. This guy has a pretty funny name. Um, he's probably going after Sean King because he's starkly anti-white. He's the kind of you know terrible leftist that blames everything on slavery, just accuses white people of always being racist, black people are always innocent, you know, classic stuff like that. I hope you are hanging in there. Yesterday, I sent an email checking in on everybody, and just a few hours later, we learned of the death of Chadwick Boseman. Life is so fragile, tomorrow is not promised, King wrote. Over the past six years of the Black Lives Matter movement, I have traveled to 47 states teaching, organizing, learning, and lending. And for all six years, wherever I go, people ask me, Sean, how do I actually use my life, my skills, my time, my energy to impact and change the world? He continued, my book, Make Change, is a 272-page answer to that question. So just a really, really crass, very, very out-of-touch reference to his book. Like, he's pretending to be part of this political movement. We know that BLM is much different than that, though. They act like they're this noble cause trying to help a certain group of people, but they're not. They're violent, out-of-control terrorists, like tearing down cities now. I mean, there was different levels of this group. I mean, they definitely weren't always so violent. They're not always, you know, protesting and demonstrating, but right now they are. We've seen the negative side of that group, and we've seen they've basically devolved into domestic terrorists. And the whole guise that they're hiding under is the civil rights movement. They're trying to save the world. They're trying to end racism. They act like they care about black lives, but they really don't because they just pick certain random arrests that gone wrong and they use those to race bait and to stir up tension. Like they don't actually care about all black people. They only care if a black person is killed by a white cop and it's on video in a situation they think they can exploit. That's what's really going on because they're also ignoring all these other things that are happening to this group. They're ignoring the real problems in their communities, the gang culture, the killings going on in Chicago all the time. The fact that black on black crime is way worse and kill, they're killing each other way worse than anyone else. And so for Sean King to flip and all of a sudden peddle his book is definitely in bad taste. Borderline like psychotic. Like this is someone who really doesn't understand social mores. You know, he's not getting how the world works. He's like very, very, like I said, like almost out of his mind. As of publication, the tweet has over 14,000 likes, plus another 6,600 retweets. This doesn't include tweets that share the screenshots of the email without retweeting him. For example, Rewire.News editor Imani Gandhi, a frequent critic of King, did a similar tweet citing at Very White Guy's screenshots, which has received nearly 15,000 likes and 6,000 retweets. Sean King is using the death of Chadwick Boseman to sell his book, and it's grotesque. What is wrong with him? What is wrong with you that you keep supporting him, Gandhi wrote. Yeah, I think this is showing some of the true character of someone like Sean King. Here's Gandhi, Gandhi. I'm sorry if I'm getting that name wrong, but she makes great points. And apparently she's posted the email and shown that, you know, Sean King is sending this out. He has a little newsletter. He has a little group of followers that kind of hang on his words because they kind of want this stuff to be true. So Sean King, this is a picture of the guy, by the way, this is a, supposed to be a black guy. And, you know, I'm just not seeing it. I'm seeing someone pretending to be black because they want to get attention. And then they're also using and exploiting these deaths. These deaths are not exclusive to the Black Panther guy either. This is the same kind of thing they do with these arrests gone wrong. You know, there was a case in Minneapolis, there was an Atlanta arrest, and more recently, the Kenosha, Wisconsin one. They use all of these as ways to push their message. And we've seen it before. We just did a Sean King video a few days ago last week and he was trying to go after random cops in Kenosha. Like he wanted to go after the cop that arrested that criminal, that terrible, violent criminal who harmed women and did very, very inappropriate, offensive criminal acts against young women. And this is who Sean King wants to defend. This is who BLM is behind. Their heroes are very bad people. And in this case, today's story is different because it's about Black Panther. 
Chadwick Boseman did nothing wrong. You know, he was just an actor in this great movie that might have gotten a little pushed harder than it should have. You know, it might have gotten a little overhyped because of the black thing. And, you know, you could argue about how good the movie was. But Chadwick Boseman, in my opinion, he's past. He's a saint. Let's not say anything else on him and just focus on these people exploiting him and going after his legacy and using it to sell books like who wants to read a book by this guy are you kidding me king addressed the controversy on his own twitter account denying that he was using bozeman's death to promote his book i literally do not make a penny off sales for my book nothing got paid a year ago to write it i had a mass email pre-scheduled to go out this morning about my book i updated the email to also mention the death of chadwick and i don't regret it at all there's that king wrote so okay this is so ridiculous oh my god So how do you say I didn't make money? He says, I literally do not make a penny off sales of my book. I got paid a year ago to write it. So are you getting paid to write the book or not? I think he's trying to say he doesn't get paid by individual sales. So he got an upfront payment for the book. But that is just totally dishonest. This is dodging. This is not the full story. That's not how things work. So let me just go ahead and break it down for you from my knowledge, from the best I can tell. Sure, you get an advance to write a book. You know, instead of getting paid per book sale, if you sell it yourself, you could go through a publisher or some company and they'll give you money up front. Like, say, here's 10 grand, write this book, and we'll get the money from the sales. You get this money up front. Boom, that's it. But what he's not saying is the more books he sells, he's still going to make more money later on. He can write another book if he sells a lot. And the reason that he's getting paid up front is because they know he could sell books like this. So it's very much hand in hand. He's pretending it's totally separate, but it's not. He knows that if he sells more of these books, they'll give him an advance for another book next year. He could do this every year. He's He's a hustler. He writes these fake books all the time, and they're boring and terrible and full of lies, just like all his tweets. And just like this comment here, this reaction is totally dishonest totally fake, and it really should be culpable. I mean, he should be facing punishment for this. I don't know how this shyster gets away with stuff. I mean, he is just the worst kind of person. I really can't stand this. I mean, even looking at this picture for too long gets me a little frustrated. The guy is a liar. He's lying right down to his core, his identity. He's pretending to be someone he's not. He's just like this imposter in this movement, trying to make money, trying to grift, using deaths, to get advancement in his career. It's just the lowest of the low, really, really bad. And I think everyone around this guy should be very, very ashamed. Like, I can't believe he has any credibility. I can't believe he's been hired by news outlets and promoted by leftists and other people in their society, in their group on the far left side. Like, this guy should be ignored totally and completely. That about wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. Tell me what you think about Black Panther, him passing too soon, rest in peace, of course, or rest in power, Wakanda forever, as they might say. Definitely a tragedy. And that's why it's just so wrong to see bad actors like Sean King and others exploiting this for their causes. Tell me what you think below. Also, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new and hit the bell for notifications too. Until next time, have a great day, everyone.